Hello, my darlings. Happy Tuesday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part three of the Carmichael's house over on Bayview Farmhouse. Bayview Farmhouse? Yes. Bayview Farmhouse. We're continuing on today. I think we're going to get into the back areas today, like the back of the build. We're going to put some more details on it. We're going to make a start on the gardens um, and just get an overall feel for it, to be honest with you. So the next couple of days, I reckon we're going to be on the back of the build, getting it looking fabulous. Um, ready to go into the interiors and get all the interiors sorted. So that is it. That's all I need to say. Let's get into game and let's start building. All right, my sweethearts. Here we are. We are back at Bayview Farmhouse. Yes, we are indeed. What we're going to do today, as I said, is do the back area. I didn't change anything off from last time either. I'm glad you liked, you guys liked the landscaping and stuff. I still want to perfect it a bit around here. Put like a few grassy knolls, maybe some of this. Um, like seagrass up on that bit there. I can find that in the debug. Um, I also found this as well. I did change this. This is from debug. I didn't even know this existed. It is that fence from Cottage Living, but it's just open. I just thought that added a nice little detail um, onto Elsie's cottage there, which I'm absolutely for. Absolutely for it indeed. So today, as I was saying, we are on the back area. What lighting's better? We can, we'll go for the brat light. Brat light, darling. Look at my cows in the front of my head today. What are they doing? <laughs> For goodness sake, I went a little bit longer with my... I'm going on about my fucking hair again, aren't I? Well, you're here for it now. You're just going to have to deal with it. Um, I am... Um, I went a bit longer with my hair. left my hair a bit longer last time. And I just... I've not been getting on with it, darlings. <laughs> I've not been getting on with it. Really not been getting on with it. So I'm going to have it cut a little bit shorter in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Content here, darlings. Woo! God, you lot are spoiled, aren't you? <laughs> running commentary from my hair uh, anyway so what we're doing out here today i'm not going to put a pool out here anymore i'm going to do a pond instead i'm going to do a nice natural pond um i think i'm going to do it around this area and then have this area as like an allotment like a little allotment with a nice little shed um i think that'd be really cute so charlie's little man shed down there I've also um, bricked in Elsie's garden. I'm not going to do the same here. I think I'm going to put some hedges, maybe. Um, but I don't know. Not too sure on that either. Uh, I just thought that was a good idea. I did. One thing I do want to get rid of is this uh, flooring. I'm going to get rid of it. And we're just going to use uh, terrain paints. Terrain paints today. How dare you? Who gave you the, the right to get rid of that? Not me. Not me at all. Um, but yes. That's it. Let's do this. Let's make a little start, shall we? That would be a cute little area for like an exit though onto this bit. So I might even put some stairs there if it were a lot. If <laughs> what was that? It will... <laughs> if it will allow. There we go. Pr pronunciations, Aiden. Pronunciations. How are you not doing? How are you doing? I hope you're okay. I know a few of my friends are all having a bit of a shit time at the minute as well. Um, I was the same last week. I was having a shit time. Uh, but I really hope that you beautiful people out there in this wonderful, bloody community that we're all in, that we're lucky to be a part of, by the way. We bloody are. And I'm not just saying that for cheese factor. This is just a really lovely, heartwarming community. What the fucking Teddy Christ? I think it's the, it's the elevation of it. Oh, you piece of shit. It's not, it's going to do it all the way. Oh no, it's not going to do it there. Well, maybe I could make something of that. Oh, it's going to lower that all the way down. I hate The Sims. <laughs> I hate the logic in The Sims. I really do. I really do. Oh, uh, well, maybe we can lower that garden down to that height instead then. We'll do that. We'll have to find a way through it, won't we? For goodness sake. For goodness bloody sake. So let's bring you down to there. Let's turn the grid on so we can see what we're doing. Um... I'm going to leave that pathway like that and just have a lower garden. Uh, and then I'm going to size this up. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, by the way, using this on the terrain um, tools, just hold down your shift key and use your mouse wheel. And it, uh, it sizes up and down your terrain tools. It doesn't work with um, terrain paint for some reason. I really wish it did. I wish that was implemented. But for some reason, the Sims don't want us to have that because they don't want us to have anything good, do they, to be honest? <laughs> oh, I'm being a bitch today, I tell you that much, darling. So, 
yeah what i'm gonna oh i kind of liked that being off a little bit higher there like a tiered garden moment i think we're gonna do that we'll do a tiered garden moment up here we'll put the pond down here like a lovely little natural pond and then what i'm gonna do is oh do you know what oh no because i do need that space i was gonna leave that tiered then but i do want this space here to be honest just because i want to be able to get a nice like allotment down on this area with um a shed i may even may even there's no access down here is there no it's just a cliff that's fine uh i may even drop that side in oh that wall's gonna come down no it's not nope you're fine we're fine we're all fine it's okay that's better um just so i've got space there to be able to put uh charlie's little man shed i think that would be delicious delicious it'd be very delicious right okay let's get this grid on so i can see let's get down to the level first place get the grid on there we go um okay oh and also speed build is coming this week but i did say midweek and um, main reasons being i might be building the house from encanto and that might be coming out this week instead of the chateau i'm just not finished with the chateau and i got inspired with watching encanto recently and i fell in love with that house so i'm gonna build it as best as what the sims can allow it to be because you you know what the sims like for scaling and stuff uh, and it's, i'm going to make it cc free as well so you guys um can download it so yes i've seen a few builds out there of the encanto house and i was like i'm going to give that a whirl so we're building the house from encanto my loves yeah that's cute that's cute i think this will make more sense here once i've uh put the shed and everything down there but for now what i need to do i think is maybe get this the terrain paints are all flowing through here. I'm unsure if I want to use that same stone back here. I may go for a different pave. Oh, a different uh, terrain paint. So let me have a little play and I'll see what I've come up with. No, we are going to use that. We are going to use this terrain paint. It just what? Oh, blue. Did you hear blue then? I think you did because I heard it in my earphones. Um, yeah, we're going to use this all at the top here, I think. Unless I put decking there. Decking would be nice. And then do stone down here. Oh, I'm kind of tall. I think we're going to do some decking. We'll do some old school decking here. So Maybe I'll use that one from Cottage Living as well. The seaside cottage one. And do some decking up here. And then I could put a fence around it. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Main reasons being. <laughs> I just fucking want to. That's the main reasons being from that, darling absolutely i just think it would look nice and then having stone down here a little path and then the allotment could be put in a different fence actually rather than having the stone wall uh yeah that could be cute yeah we'll do that we'll put that in a different fence and i'll probably use the same fence up on the decking area as well how many times am i going to say decking decking i don't like decking slippery it's just uh yeah i can't be dealing with decking love that the fences do that on the edges of a you know when they like hang over the edge love that love it love that they do that <laughs> so up here maybe i could use like a uh oh now that looks a bit old to be with let me have a little think let me have a little think and a play we're gonna go for a half wall instead we're gonna go for a half wall instead because this sits on nice on the edges um and then i can use the same stone as what we've got on the build I tried a few fences. I tried a few debug fences and it just wasn't looking right. Nothing was looking right. I'm going to leave an entrance there and I might even leave that area open there. Just so we're not blocking any view. Not that there is much of a view. Well, there is. There is a view of the distant sea from this kind of like sim level. You know? I wouldn't want to block that off too much. So I'm going to leave that completely open. But fence in this area here. And uh, just have a little moment like that. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm into it. Yeah, we're into that. Oh, I am. I'm into it. And I'm going to do it. I am. I might even, actually, I might use this wall, but not in the white. I might go for the same colour as the walls. Just so it's got a little bit of a different texture than the main house. Yeah. Just so it looks a little bit more weathered. A little bit more weathered. We're here for it today, aren't we? Yes, we are indeed. Uh... Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll do it. Let me see this. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm going to be 
putting a fence down here anyway where this allotment area is so maybe i need to just push this back a little bit further let's get into the landscape the land the terraining um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull you all the way into like there there we go and then i can put a fence down the bottom here uh i might even do glass there just so it still feels like it's like set in you can't get down this way i think i'm going to put some glass there even though this is going to be taller than the half wall that we've put down uh i don't think it will look too bad once it's in there oh no that looks nice and we'll leave that open we'll leave that open and then they've got an area to come down here as well perfect perfect we're for it and i think we're going to use this uh the the mega basic fence just because it's very um like minimal the other one's got a bit too much detail on it. Can I, like, fence you in there? I need to flatten that down, but... No, that's a bit too close. When We still need, like, a walkway here. So I'm going to do it to, like, there. I think this is going to be big enough for an allotment. We'll fence it all the way back here as well. I don't know if this is the right colour. I think it... I think we might have to go a little bit lighter with this fence. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, I do prefer the darker one, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'm going to put a fence. I'm going to put this all the way. Oh, no, that goes up weirdly there. I kind of want that to be a thing, though. So I'm, I'm going to flatten down this area, I think. Just so I can put a gate there. And we'll, we'll do the same all the way across here as well. And this is where I'm going to be putting the shed. So I might even build the shed now, actually, quickly. So... It needs to be kind of like around about that size, I would reckon. Yeah, I think so. Like a ma like a man shed. A man shed. Let's get a little roof on you, my love. Come along to here. Tuck those flaps in on the sides. Pull you down. Ever so slightly. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Then we'll mess around with the terrain tools here. A lot of you have been saying to keep my terraining in... Um, sometimes I'll have to like be off camera just to figure stuff out with my terrain uh, manipulation. Uh, but other times I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep as much as what I possibly can in. Uh, that's going to be weird. Maybe I should raise this all up to that level then. And just have that dipped down. I think we'll do that. I think we'll raise this in the worst, in the worst, in the wise words of Westlife. <laughs> we're raising it up, loves. Can't bear Westlife. You know, you know, you all know that by now. If you do watch my channel, I'm not a boy band fan. I was much more of a fan of the Spice Girls and All Saints as well. Does anybody remember All Saints? They were the shit. They were the shit back in the day. We're All Saints. Yeah, but then this railing now looks. I don't know. I need to think with this railing. I've gone for this instead. I've gone for the stone wall that we've used everywhere. I've changed the layout a little bit more here just to make it like flow a bit better. And uh, I prefer it. So I've mixed the stone wall with the hedge of dreams. I just think this looks a little bit more coastal. And that's the vibe that I want to come across here. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are a dude. <sighs> anyway, we've got that bare kind of like shape down. We haven't got no details or anything in it yet. What we really need to do now is concentrate on getting a pond in this area. So I need to get this grid on just for special awareness. Um, I'm going to pull you... Oh, no, darling. Down. Get down. Get down to there. Um, probably around about that big. And uh, let's see what shape... You never know what shape pond you're going to get, really, until you put the water in. But maybe something just a little bit bigger over this side lovely trees around here and then this area here can be like almost like a little like garden if you know what i mean we'll do like little like pathways like paving slabs like stepping stones and stuff i think we'll do that and just have a nice little bench next to the pond or something we'll see what happens with that anyway um i need to turn that smoothness down and turn the speed down as well and the smaller and let's just uh let's just smooth this out together you know just smooth these edges out. I'm unsure at what the water's going to look like once it gets in here, but we're going to give it a good old go. This is probably a little bit too slow, actually. That's a bit better. There we go. Let's just smooth those edges down. Just make sure there's no sharp corners and stuff, because when the water goes in it, it looks a bit weird. 
And you never know until you get the water in. I think we're going to go to around about there. Oh, God, no. Definitely not. Get rid of that water. Thank you. Um, maybe like there instead then. Yeah, that would be better. <clears throat> but do you see what I mean? You get like harsh edges. But then you can go in afterwards with the smoothing tool. Um, and smooth it down. Smooth, please. I want smooth. Let's have a little looky. Yes, let's get rid of that harsh corner there as well. I mean, that's not too bad. That one could do with a little tweakage. Oh, that's nice. I'm imagining this with, obviously, different water and stuff on it. I think we'll, maybe, we'll go for this one because I love that one. But I do like that one as well. Uh, we'll go for this one. Oh, look, what's you? Mm, no, you're not the vibe. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like much at the minute, but I can just see it in my mind's eye. It's going to be fine. And I'm wondering whether to try and loop this around here somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that, but let me just have a little whiffle. I'll do this all live as well as so you guys can kind of just see my thought process. Um, uh, I mean, it would go right off the lot though, and it just, that's not the vibe. Um, no, it's not going to work just because of the, the length and stuff of it. I mean, that would have been cute, but <clears throat> we'll stick to trees and stuff around there, I think. Yes, we will. So, what I need to do now, <clears throat> excuse me, is do some more smoothing here because the sims are not going to be able to get up there. You need to make sure that there's no, like, soil. Even this faint soil line here, the sims would not be able to walk up on it. So, you just need to make sure that the terrain is kind of, like, missing all of that, like, soil line. Blue, can you stop snorting in my videos, please? <laughs> uh, I think that would be fine. And I'm going to just... See if I can just whiffle this as close as I can without it. Yeah, there we go. Just so it's nice and flat on that area. Lovely. And I don't know if I'm going to use that stone. I mean, I could. Or I could gravel this area so it looks like it's like purposely there. And have like plants in the middle somehow. We'll try that. We'll try that. The gravel, probably going to go for this one, to be honest. Let me see what you would look like on there. On there. Yeah, I think this might work. It might work. I wish we had different coloured gravels. I really do. I mean, that one's not... Oh, that one's not too bad, actually. I might go for this one instead. That looks very gravelly. Yes, yeah, so I think we'll go for this one instead. I'm going to need to put my grid back on here. Just so I can see where I'm going to be placing this gravel. Um... And around to here. I don't know if I'm don't know if I'm feeling this colour now it's in. Let me see. No, I'm not feeling it. It's disgusting. We'll stick with a grey. We'll stick with a grey. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that is better. Okay. And then we'll do this whole area here. In just a bit of a gravel. But I will like um go back in with some soil and put the soil kind of like uh in the middle and stuff of it just so we can grow some plants out of this i want this to still look even though it's been landscaped i still want it to look kind of semi-natural to be honest so that's what we're going to do that is what we're going to do all the way through let me just whiffle that in a little bit more i'm leaving the edges kind of free so i can kind of like detail those edges in i'm not going to go to there because that's going to have like trees and stuff on but as long as there's a small like area here where they can sit by the pond and stuff i think that would be nice okay Right, let's get this pond looking a little bit more pondy. That is the technical word for today. Pondy. Let me get this all the way down the bottom. Uh, I'm going to get the smoothness up a little bit and take the size down. Just so I can really soil up this edge. <laughs> that sounds a bit weird, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. <laughs> I'm going to soil up this edge. I'm going to bring it around here as well. Bring it around to this side. Just making sure just to get all those like um kind of like drops, if you know what I mean, like covered in soil rather than the grass. I just think it looks a little bit more natural when it's that way. Uh is that a flat area up there? Uh, not really, but I could use uh another soil there just so it kind of blends in, which is what I'm gonna do now. I flop this around the sides as well. So like putting it like there. On top of that. Beautiful. Oh, we'll get rid of that stone as well at the top there. We don't want that. We don't want the gravel on those edges. And the same round this way as well. 
same round this way. I'm going to get all of the terrain painting done because there is a lot to do. Um, and then we'll come back and we're going to start beautifying this place up together. Okay, so we've got a bit of the terrain painting down now. Uh, there's going to be a few things that I want to do with this, but I think that's going to come as I kind of progress with the landscaping and stuff. So that's what we're going to leave it for at the minute. Um, and I like it. I was going to do this whole thing in soil, but we're going to do this together now anyway. I've also rounded the roof off here and I've painted the top of the wall up there white as well. It was just looking a bit bland, a bit boring being all one colour. So I'm going to leave like, like we did at the front. I'm just going to have that wall painted white at the top because I can. That's fine. I might even, now I'm seeing it. Yeah, I'm going to paint this as well. I'm going to... I'm going to do the extension. Oh, not you, darling. Just up to there. Excuse you. Thank you. There we go. Yes. Yeah, that should be that should be fine. We'll do it that way. Um, So we're going to do this all together here. So I, I kind of want like a fun coloured shed. I might do it as it looks like an old like... um bunker if you know what i mean like an air raid shelter or something that kind of vibe uh so i might do it a fun color what about red oh no it's a bit, it's a bit much that it's a bit, i think i'll skip over that and we'll go for this <laughs> i changed my mind all right i've changed my absolute mind we're gonna go for something like that yeah that will fit in with the vibes that we're going for here as well and i'm gonna do the top of the roof probably in the, oh that's not gonna have a matching color though oh i forgot about that I mean, silver's fine. We can do it that way. We'll do it in the grey silver. And then we'll put on that little floppy bit there. Floppy bit, flappy bit there as well. I've just noticed that those windows are not equal on each side there. And it made me angry. So I've changed it. How did I notice that all the way along there? I have no idea. No idea at all. So what we're going to do here, as I said, I wanted to do like a soil moment. But I think what we're going to do is just have like half soil. And then this here can be like... Um, I don't know, maybe like we can play around with the terrain paints there, do a little bit of stonework or something. Who can say? But for today, what we're going to do is put this soil in here. So this um, po part is probably not going to be that exciting because we're just getting the terrain paints and that done. But you guys said you wanted to see the process. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do it and it's going to be fabulous. Is that a really weird color? It looks very red. It looks very red. I'm gonna I'm gonna go along with it. I'm gonna go with it and see what happens. Yes. Let me just see where I'm taking it up to the grid. Um I'd probably want to go to there actually. So I'll take that away. And I might even put a little wooden fence just separating this area off from this area. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. I'm kind of wanting to give them chickens, so I might put a chicken coop down on that bit there. I think I'm gonna give them chickens um chicken coop come with flop a little chicken coop in there which is the perfect size for it there in fact you need to come along a little bit more there my love we'll change the color we'll just go for the like a neutral vibe here if you would um like that that'd be perfect and then i do want to give elsie a cow i think kelsey 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 that's the name of the cow <laughs> I've decided the name of the cow is called Kelsey. <laughs> you guys are welcome. You are. I know the genius in me. <laughs> it just it just prevails every time. It really does. <laughs> and I think we'll put it like there. I'm not going to use that color though. I'm going to go for a different swatch for this as well. Uh, and I might. Oh, that's a, that's an okay one. That one's too bright. They all look too cartoonish to me. Um, I mean, that darker one's all right, actually. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that one. Let me just see with the how. I think that one probably goes the most, to be honest. Yeah, we'll use that one. The Kelsey. I was going to give you guys the option of naming the cow, but no, sorry, Kelsey. You can name the chickens. You, you can name the chickens. Kelsey is genius. <laughs> Absolutely Genius. Is this too many? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Charlie has got, like, he is, he's retired. He's got a lot to do. So we're going to give him a big patch. 
Uh, and then we're going to put a nice little fence here as well then. A nice little fence. We'll use this one. And I think I'll go for that, like, weathered colour. Is it this one? No, that one's not the weathered colour. Is it this grey one? Oh, that's quite nice, actually, isn't it? Yeah, we'll use that. And I think I'll open up the end rather than... Yeah, we'll open up the end. I won't put a gate on that. We'll just keep it open. Just separated there. Yeah, that's nice. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy that. But what I want to do is just put a little bit of, of the darker soil. Just... And in fact, let's go darker with it. Just underneath of the hedge here. Just so it sort of blends in rather nicely. We'll do the same on the other side there as well. Plop that all around there, my loves. I put I put some stepping stones down on that bit too. Um, but I'm also going to put like all of those, you know, the grass that we've been using. If I can see any through here. Um, here we are. Look, lovely. I'm going to like put this kind of like along it and sink it down. I just know the terrain's going to be a bitch to try and get that on there. So I'm not doing that right now. But I'm going to sink all of that in those areas. Just to put details. You know where we're going. You know where we're going with it. Um, oh, but that would look nice in here. So let's put some underneath of this hedge as well, just to make this look a little bit more natural around this area. I think it would look very nice. Yeah, maybe tuck you in a little bit more though. Just so it's a bit more. You can stay out because you're smaller. Yes, that kind of vibe. I might even do a little foxglove in here as well. Maybe not. No, they're poisonous. They are very poisonous, by the way. So don't go touching them. If you do come across a foxglove wherever you may live. Do you get them in other places, foxgloves? Um, Europe? Anywhere else in the world? I'd be interested to know. Um, I love a foxglove. Beautiful looking flowers. But again, very, very deadly. Very deadly indeed. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of stone just on this area here. The same one that we've been using. Just on this. And then I'll kind of frame it into the wall quite tightly on that bit there. Just so it doesn't take it over. And then I'm going to go in with this. Soften it down some. And just soften that edge up a little bit as well. I love terrain painting. It's so relaxing to me. Um, and I know there's a few of you out there that love terrain painting as well. But what we do not like is that terrain paint bug. That makes the terrain paint disappear. Because it makes me fume every time. I might use some of this stone around on this bit. Yeah, I think we will. But first, what we need to do. Um, I'm not going to use too many of these. I think I'll do two of these here. And then maybe some smaller ones just there. Maybe some smaller ones just on this side here. So we'll do maybe three. Yeah, three will do. Yeah, that'd be nice. And then this would be a nice little area for the chickens then. I'm going to give them free roam as well. We'll give them free roam around, it, around here. I won't uh, lock the fences for this particular lot um yeah nice okay so let's um start to do this i probably now that i'm thinking about it do want to kind of like soil underneath of the uh the chicken coop as well to be honest let's do that first i'll bring that all around there and underneath if you would do you know what chickens are like they cause a mess and they stink oh the smell of chicken poo Ugh. i would love chickens one day but that is enough to put me off like having to clean out the chicken shit oh not for me absolutely not for me uh, and this comes from personal experience as well um with grandparents and stuff who had chickens and no it's just not it's just not a vibe not a vibe smell wise but i love chickens they're so cute they are so cute and um yeah maybe one day maybe one day we will yeah that's kind of cute i'm i kind of going off the idea of having uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of stone here and there. Just a little nod here and there of some stone. But I'll probably just make this area just mainly kind of like soil and grass. I'm also going to make this look a little bit overgrown as well. Um, so Christ knows what um, thumbnail I'm going to get today because nothing's going to look ready or done. I might have to just take another thumbnail from the front. <laughs> what was that? At a different angle. Ah, ah. Honestly, the noises that come out of my mouth sometimes. Is anybody else like that out there? Don't make me feel alone. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We're all, we're all weirdos here. That, that's why That's why we all congregate together quite nicely on this channel. Because we're all a bit weird. 
And thank fuck for weird, you know. Thank fuck for weird, my loves. Yeah, let's uh, just detail this up a little bit. Anywhere where I can just see. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I do. And then overgrowing this with some grass and stuff. I think it would be really cute. Just like little bits of collateral grass. We'll do all of that business. Do you know, that's the vibe that we're going to go for. Um, that is the vibe that we're going to go for. But I think this is this is what we've done today. We've got the bare shape down of the garden. Tomorrow we'll come back and get all those details in. I'm going to go around off of camera and do a bit more landscaping and stuff. Just to make this look a little bit more overgrown and natural. Um, and we'll come and do the main stuff like the decking. All of this little garden area down here as well. Um, I do want to like make this look a little bit nicer too. And off oh shit, I didn't really... Think about where the entrance to the shed's going to be. We can put the entrance there. It's fine. We'll put the entrance off to the side there. Um, we'll finish this. And I'm not going to go on to Elsie's yet. I'm going to get this finished first. And we're going to do this in a one Because we haven't done her front garden yet either. So we'll do her gardens next too. Which will come this week at some point. I'm sure. But um, for today, my loves, we are complete. So, my loves, part three of the Carmichael's is complete. I will be back again with this tomorrow. Um, Just doing, as I said, the garden areas. I think we'll get the whole exterior kind of complete this week. Ready to get into the interiors of this as well. Um, But yeah, get some lovely comments down below. I'm live on Twitch tonight at 7pm playing a lovely game called Lost in Random. It's really cute, like Tim Burton-esque spooky kind of game it's lovely if you want to join me i'm there at seven but if not i'll see you tomorrow goodbye